What's going on, Xanderverse? It's your boy Xander Wayne here, the Jet Long Night, here with another episode of Casting Call. I want to say sorry for taking so long with part two of the Street Fighter Universe Casting Call. Last week was a little bit busy for me, but, you know, my schedule is still. It's, it's, it's slightly better, so. I don't want to make you guys wait any longer, so. Here we have part two of the Street Fighter Universe Casting Call. As mentioned in my last video, certain characters will be casted based on who they were casted by in such mediums such as the Street Fighter Assassin's Fist um, web series as well as Street Fighter Resurrection. So when it comes to those characters, you won't get most of an explanation for them. You'll just have to know that they were already casted already, so I just stuck with those characters. In any case, let's get right into this one. Don't want to keep you guys here for that much longer. We're moving on to the character known as Gil, the leader of the Illuminati, as well as the final boss of the Street Fighter 3 game series. Uh, he is the red and blue Ultimate Warrior type looking character, tall, blonde, flowing hair, God Complex. I went with Kevin Duran for the role of Gil. Given how he portrayed the Archangel Gabriel, or Michael, I forget which one it was, in the movie Legion, um, I went with him. This was a very hard choice for me because I liked the character a lot. And characters that I generally like a lot, I try to cast them the best way I possibly can. Uh, I could have went with a professional wrestler, but there's no wrestler out there right now who I would probably pick for the role of Gil. So I went with someone that I'm pretty well familiar with, and that was Kevin Durant. So that's what I have for Gil. Moving on to Goken, the master of canon Ryu, brother of Goki, a.k.a. Akuma, and the originator of the Ansatsuken martial arts style, fighting style. Like I said before, I went with his casting for the Street Fighter Assassin's Fist web series. That is Akira Koya. Koeyama, I am probably butchering his last name, I apologize for that, but that's who I went for Goken, so there you go. Moving on to Colonel Guile, the greatest soldier that ever lived in the Street Fighter universe, uh, I went with John Cena. You guys cannot sit there and tell me that John Cena does not remind you of Guile, to a degree. He's already played a Marine in the Marine, so there, there's that. But, I just think you give him the right kind of hair length. He already has the build for it. So, there's no possible way that John Cena should not be playing Guile in a Street Fighter movie. So, that's what I got for Guile. Moving on to Guy, the ninja from the Final Fight series. Who often partnered up with um, Cody more often than not. I went with Johnny Young Bosch. Johnny Young Bosch, as you know, was the second Black Ranger in the Modern Warfare Power Ranger series. He's also the voice of Vasha Stampede in the Trigun series. He also has a band called I Shine, if I'm not mistaken. And he's done a whole bunch of other voice acting gigs and stuff, too. I know he's still pretty much well in shape. I know he hasn't done much as far as acting is concerned in live action scale, mm -hmm. as far as I can tell. So, with that being said, I went with him for Guy. He's a ninja, so... Guess it works out well. Moving on to Hawken, the Turkish wrestler, introduced in Street Fighter 4. I went with Sarp Levin Doglu, um, who um, I don't really know too much about, but at the same time, there's not too much known about Hawken as well. He was only introduced in Street Fighter 4, and not much has actually been done with him as of late. I don't know if he's going to be making an appearance in Street Fighter 5, but I doubt that. So that's what I have for Hawken. Moving on to the other wrestler in the Street Fighter universe, Hugo, who is the Andre the Giant S wrestler who appears in Street Fighter 3. Um, I went with the big show for Hugo. I know the big show is scheduled to be retiring very soon from active performing or active um, entertainment and wrestling. So I went with him only because. You know, I know early in his career he was billed as being Andre the Giant's son. Not only that, but if you guys are familiar with Street Fighter III Third Strike, the intro between Hugo and Alex is very reminiscent of Hogan and Andre the Giant back in WrestleMania. So, I went with 
the big show for Hugo. That works. Moving on to Ibuki the Ninja in training. Um, she's I know she's very young in age. And, um, you know, yeah. You know, so I, I went with Zhang Ziyi. I know Zhang Ziyi is, very, is getting a lot older. I don't know how she is at the current time right now. But as we all know, most Asians tend to look a lot younger than what they actually are, given that they take care of themselves. So, with Ibuki, I went with Zhang Ziyi. Moving on to Ingrid, who's made an appearance only in the Street Fighter Alpha series. Uh, not really much is known about her, to be honest with you. Um, but in this instance, I went with Maddie Ziegler. Maddie Ziegler is very well known as being one of the dancers from Dance Moms. She's also a prominent dancer for Sia. She's even danced in um, Sia's Chandelier music video. And in fact, she dances with Sia a lot. Um, most of you guys can probably make the connection that, you know, dancers, if given the right type of training, could become very proficient martial artists. So, if given the right training, Maddie Ziegler can pull this off. Moving on to Joe, who was a participant in the first World Warrior Tournament, meaning he was in Street Fighter 1. He's just a, just a, just your standard kickboxer figure in the game. Uh, with this, I went with Sasha Mitchell. Sasha Mitchell is actually the star of the kickboxer sequels that came out after Jean-Claude Van Damme wasn't a part of the franchise anymore. Um, he is also known for playing Cody in the Step by Step, Step, by Step TV series that, that aired on ABC. He is actually an accomplished kickboxer himself, so I think a role like this would be pretty decent for him. So that's who I went for with Joe. Here we have Junie and Julie, the dolls, which are basically the assassins for M. Bison in the Shadow Loot Empire. Um, they're usually young, brainwashed um, teenage girls who are trained to fight and kill for M. Bison. I went with the Fanning girls, Dakota and L. Fanning. Dakota Fanning for Junie and L. Fanning for Julie. They are both relatively close in age, although Junie is only a month older than... Julie, so I don't know exactly how far apart in age Dakota and Elle Fanning are, but in the movie, I don't think it should really make much of a difference. So that's why I picked for those two. Moving on to Jerdy, the Taekwondo Feng Shui engine possessor of Street Fighter 4. She's a character I actually like quite a lot as well. So I went with Chiaki Kuroyama, who you might know from. Uh, the Kill Bill movie that's playing Gogo Yubari, as well as the um, first Battle Royale movie. You might know her from also. She's very good at playing sadistic, crazy characters, so Juri herself is sadistic and crazy. So that's why I went with Juri. Moving on to Karen, who is the, um, I guess you could say the um, Lily of the Street Fighter universe. Um, Lily, of course, is from Tekken. Who was rivals with um, Asuka Kazama? Uh, I don't know who. I'm not quite sure who Karen's a rival of, but I went with Chloe Bruce. Chloe Bruce, if you guys don't know, is a very, very prominent and proficient martial arts performer and stunt woman. If you can go, if you click her name into YouTube right now, you'll find a lot of her stunt reels on here, and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I went with Chloe Bruce for Karen. Again, moving on to Ken Masters. Uh, the hot-blooded American rival to Ryu in the Street Fighter universe. Keeping it very simple, I went with Christian Howard. Since Christian Howard plays him in Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, as well as Street Fighter Resurrection. And he's played Ken in a couple other short Street Fighter fan films as well. So that's who I went with for Ken. Simple as that. Same thing with our next character, which is Laura. Laura, who is actually Laura Matsuda, who is actually the older sibling of Sean Matsuda who is actually a pupil of Ken. Uh, she makes her appearance, she makes her debut in actual, in Street Fighter 5 to be exact and she's also appeared in the Street Fighter Resurrection you know short movie. Of course she's already been cast so I went with who was cast of her and that is Natasha Hopkins. Natasha Hopkins is pretty much a splitting image of um 
Laura. So that's why I want. I can't believe the phone is ringing. I I can't stand this shit. Why why is the phone ringing right now? Would you just stop ringing already, please? Thank you. Moving on to Lee. Lee is a. Hold on one second, please. Lee, who is a character that appears in the first Street Fighter game, but loses to Ryu in the World Warrior Tournament, I went with Jackie Chan. Lee is a Kung Fu martial arts expert, as well as being the uncle of Jun and Yang from the Street Fighter 3 game series. So, a person like Jackie Chan, you know, this would be a last little role, he doesn't really have to show him fighting in the tournament, I mean, they could, but it could also show him training Yun and Yang as they're going up. So I think that would be a nice little role for Jackie Chan. Moving on to M. Bison, who is the uh, Shadowloo leader, as well as the would-be dictator trying to take over the world. Uh, master of psycho power and just all around pain in the ass to everybody. I went with Silvio Simak. Silvio Simak is actually scheduled to play M. Bison I believe in Street Fighter, the World Warrior, Machinima series coming out very soon. I don't know when that's coming out, but I hope it's coming out very soon. Uh, pictures of him have already been posted up, as you can see right here. So, that's what I went for with M. Bison. Moving on to Maki, who is very reminiscent of... I want to say it's Mai from King of Fighters, but I could be wrong. But in any case... um. She makes her appearance in Street Fighter 1 as well. And I believe in um, Capcom vs. SNK is also. I went with Chloe Grace Moretz. Chloe Grace Moretz, after seeing her in Kick-Ass and Kick-Ass 2, I thought she would do just fine as playing a character in Maki, so that's what I went with. Moving on to Makoto. Another one of my favorite characters introduced in Street Fighter 3. Makoto is a karate do practitioner. Who is very strong. She doesn't have projectiles, but she makes up for that with her martial arts fighting skill. I went with G.J. Yannin. G.J. Yannin, who all we all know is pretty much the female Tony Ja, is uh, very strong, very fast, and very hard. And um, I think she would make a pretty good Makoto. I know Makoto's pretty young in age, but if you look at G.J. Yannin, I think she could pull off a younger character at this point as well. Moving on to Mike who's actually the first boxer introduced in the Street Fighter universe, being introduced in Street Fighter 1. I went with Mikkel Shannon Jenkins. He's a proficient boxer himself. Um, he, was, he was first introduced in the Undisputed 3 with Scott Atkins, where he played the boxer who later became Yuri Boyka, Boyka's partner and friend on trying to escape the prison. So... That's why I went with with Mike. He has a he has a he has a similar look to the character, so that's why I went with him. Moving on to Charlie Nash, who is best friend of Guile, as well as probably a even more popular character than Guile, if I'm if if I really think about it. Of course, as he made an appearance in Street Fighter Resurrection, I went with the person that was cast for him. And that is Alan Mosey. He's uh he's very well. I just recently saw him in Kickboxer. Um. Damn, the 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 latest Kickboxer movie that just came out. Um, he was in that. He played the lead, so I just watched him in that. So he is actually pretty good. So that's why I went with Ford Charlie Nash. Moving on to Nakali, the straight beast introduced in Street Fighter Five. Long red hair, glowing tattoos. This guy's pretty awesome looking. He's pretty awesome looking. I will admit that. Um, I could have went a completely different direction with this one. But I chose Latif Crowder for Nakali. Only because of the fact that he actually has that look of how Nakali is supposed to be. I know most people would have put Latif Crowder for DJ. But I went completely different because DJ is a kickboxer at the end of the day. Um, I don't know what Nakali's actual legit fighting style is, but as a capoeira practitioner, Latif Rada can definitely pull it off. I mean, look at him. The guy's a street savage, so let's just go with that. So I went with Latif Crowder for Nakali. Moving on to Necro, who uh, to me appears to be some sort of 
android of some sort, not even an android, some just genetic experiment that completely different different turn. He's like the Dal Sim of the Street Fighter Three series. I worked with Arnold Chun for Necro because Necro is a seems to me like just like a pretty fun, you know, type of character. So you know, I don't think he really has much at stake in the Street Fighter series, but you know, he's a part of the universe, so that's why I went for with Necro. Moving on to Oni, which is basically Akuma in Super Saiyan mode. I love this character. I like using him in the Street Fighter games. So that's who I picked. Um, for Oni, of course, I went with Joey Asa, who's already playing Akuma in the Street Fighter, you know, Machinima series. So that's what I did. So it'd be interesting to see him in Oni form. You know, his Akuma form is already pretty cool, but to see him in the only form would be very interesting. And last for today, we got Ordo, the immortal martial arts hermit, introduced in Street Fighter 3. Uh, he usually tends to fight with one arm, although I do believe he has two arms. So, that's who I went for, and that's what we have here. I went with James Hong for Oro. Oro, uh, James Hong, as you guys might not know, is from Big Trouble in Little, Little China. He played David Lopan, and he's done a couple other things, too. Um, I don't think I've seen him do anything super serious in the in, in conjunction with a role like this, but I think it would be cool for him to play a martial arts hermit. So, that's why I went with for Oro, James Hong. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes part two of the Street Fighter Universe casting call. If there are some casting picks that I made that you don't necessarily agree with, please let me know in the comment section below who you would have went with and why. Of course, part three will be coming out next week. I promise you that. You won't have to wait such a long time for it. So be on the lookout for part three, and that will end the Street Fighter Universe casting call list. If there are any casting call suggestions that you would like for me to do a video on, you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me here in the comment section, or you can send it to my inbox. In any case, whatever suggestion that you may have, please feel free to send them my way. If you enjoyed this casting call video, hit the like button. If you didn't hit the dislike button, share this video with all your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Dreadlock nerd out. Peace.